our little gym of Tustin at home. Today we're going to be doing a parent-child video, so that's geared for kids uh, 10 months up to the age of three years. Of course, if they're a little older or a little younger, you are more than welcome to still follow along with us. Today you'll need a couple of things. For our hello song, if you have some bells or maracas that you want to use, Go ahead and grab them. If not, you guys can just play your drums on the floor. I also will need you guys to grab two sticks, um, but wooden spoons, chopsticks, empty paper towel rolls, anything like that will also work. And then we'll also need a ball and some bubbles. So if you have that stuff, go ahead and grab it. If not, I'm sure we can make do without. And then today I also have Mr. Frog here to help me demonstrate some of the partner activities. Since adults, you will be assisting your little with quite a few of these. Now, a couple of reminders. We do have this as a modified class from what we normally do, um, so just keep that in mind. And then we also have our number one rule is safety. So make sure that you guys have plenty of space. Um, maybe even let your little ones know what a good space that they can walk and run in is. Um, so take a moment and do that now. All right, perfect. So we will get started and today our theme is follow the leader. So parents, you guys are gonna be setting a big example for your little ones. They look up to you guys as role models, they take cues off of you guys. Um, so the more that you can lead by example, the better. All right, so we're gonna get started with our hello song. Grab those bells if you have them or you can play the drums on the floor, even on your legs. And remember parents, if you do it, hopefully your little ones will follow suit. Here we go. Say, oh, everyone, please shake your bells and sing along with me. How do you do, everyone? How do you do? How do you do, everyone? How do you do? Oh, we come to gym for fun and we get you on the run. How do you do, everyone? How do you do? Yay, shake them up high. And shake on down low. Good job, and please. All right, nice work. Give yourself a round of applause. Excellent singing. All right, so like I said, I'm Miss Valerie. This is Mr. Frog. And today, parents, since we're leading by example, I'm going to ask what your guys' names are. Hi, everyone. And now we can ask your little ones what's their name. Parents, maybe give them a little bit of encouragement. If they're a little shy right now, that's okay. We can always say it later. All right, good job. Thanks for playing along. Today, our baby sign is follow. So you put your two hands, one kind of in front of the other, and it just shifts a little bit. So it looks like one thumb is following the other. Follow. Did you give it a try? One more time. Go follow. Good work. All right, so we're gonna get started with a warm-up. And in this warm-up, they're gonna ask us to repeat a couple different body parts and also touch that body part at the same time. So parents, if you guys are willing to repeat it out loud, that might even encourage your little ones to do so. So when it is time, I would love for adults, you guys to participate too. All right, let's get started with that warm-up. Everyone stand on up. I'm gonna put these away. All right, and here we go. Let's get to know our body. Parents, please repeat the word as you help your child touch the body part. Okay, here we go. Head. Head. Toes. Toes. Tummy. Tummy. Nose. Nose. Now let's go for a walk or a run. All Help right. Child if necessary. Help them by holding their hands under their armpits, or even if you want to work on stationary standing, that's okay too. All right, let's go for a walk. If they've got it, you guys could even run. Are you getting warm? Are you going fast? Oh, freeze. freeze. Good job. Time to repeat and touch more body parts. More body parts. Here we go. Hips. Ooh, hips. That one's tricky. Knees. Knees. 
Ankles. Ankles. Feet. Feet. Let's use our hips, knees, ankles, and feet to step and slide sideways. Sideways. This is a beginning gallop. Okay, we're Go. gonna do a gallop. Have your child face you and practice apart together if they're on the younger side. If they've got it though, you can do a faster gallop. Step and slide. Good, are you going sideways? Very nice, keep it up. Please, time for more body parts. All right, here we go. Shoulder. Shoulder. There and there. Elbow. Ooh, elbow. Wrist. Wrist. Like where your watch goes. Hands. Hands. Let's use our shoulders, elbows, wrists, and hands to do a wheelbarrow. All right, really fast. I'm just gonna go over the wheelbarrow position if anyone is new. With your little ones, you guys are gonna hold their uh, waist or even their upper thighs at the lowest. They're gonna have their hands flat on the mat or on the floor, the carpet, wherever you are. And hopefully they'll be nice and strong and they'll look up. All right, if they're bending their arms and their head is touching, you wanna encourage them to look up. Maybe if you have someone else with, there with you, they can call their name and help them kind of get that. So they're gonna have strong arms and they're gonna look up. You can just hold this position. All right, so I'm gonna press play. You guys get in that wheelbarrow position. All right, remember, strong arms, look up. Hold them right at the waist or upper thighs to protect their backs. If they've got it, you can push them forward a little bit and see if they'll walk their hands. Good job, are you still holding it? Are they walking? That's hard. Good, if they need a break, you can let them take a little break, give them some love, and then try again. Okay, and more body parts. body parts. Here we go. Ready? Back. Back. Ooh, that's tricky. Back. Neck. Neck. Chin. Chin. Chest. Chest. When doing forward rolls, we can protect our neck by tucking our chin to our chest, which will help make our back round so that we can roll smooth. All right, if you're familiar, you can help them do a forward roll. Just make sure that they do tuck their chin to their chest. Help them go all the way over. If they are a little younger, maybe unfamiliar with that one, you can go upside down. Give them a hug. Give them upside down and right side up. And upside down and right side up. Give it a try. This side, upside down, and right side up. Good work, friends. A couple more. Good job. Remember, parents, you're the leader. So if you give them big smiles and happy energy, hopefully they'll pick that up. Upside down. Maybe one more. Upside down. Good work. Thank you, everyone. All right, friends. Parents, can you give yourselves a big round of applause? Say yay. All right, so we are going to do a stick tapping activity now. So go ahead, I'll give you a second. Grab your sticks, your wooden spoons, whatever you're using for today. All right, so parents, 
Some of these activities might be a little difficult depending on the age of your child um, and how familiar they are with this type of activity. But if they ever do need help, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put your hand directly over theirs on top of the stick. That way that works on their gripping skills and then that you can kind of help guide them on where the stick needs to go. If they're a little bit on the older side and they can hold it on their own, you guys are more than welcome to have them do exactly how I'm gonna show it. All right, so sit down with your little one. I'm gonna press play and we'll get going. Parents, can you please help your birdies make the letter T with their sticks Look, on the floor? Make it hey, T. Birdies, the letter T makes the T, -t say sound. Ta, ta. Let's say it, parents. T, ta, t, ta. Like in the word tap. Tap your sticks together, but when you hear the whistle, tap your sticks on the floor. Right, here we go. Tap them together. Tap the floor, there's the whistle. child hold one stick in each hand okay, one stick and put in the each ends hand. together to make the shape of the big letter L. Ooh, L makes the L. L. I'll do it right for you guys. L. You lay your sticks on the floor on the and floor. roll them both under your hands. You like this. When you hear the harmonica, pick them up and roll them between your hands. And then we'll go like this. All right, so roll them flat, just like a rolling pin. How does it feel? There's a harmonica, go between your hands. That one's a little trickier. Good work. Freeze. Freeze. Now can you make the letter X with your sticks? Ooh, like this. When you hear the music, let's hammer the nail. Your teacher will show you how. Like this. But every time the music stops, when it stops. please freeze. And Freeze. then switch. And so other that the side. The hammer stick is the nail stick, and the nail stick is the hammer stick. Got it? Go. Here we go. Parents, this one is a lot more tricky, so if they need that hand over hand help, go ahead and give that to them. Switch. Other side. Good work. Freeze. Now, parents, can you partner up with another family and help the birds tap their sticks? All right, parents, you're going to take one stick, sticks. your little ones are going to take the other stick, and they're going to tap, tap it on yours. All right? Parents have one, and kids have one. Good, maybe hold it up high. Maybe hold it down low. Good job. Thank you for playing so well with your friends and for making stick letters. All right, friends, thank you so much for doing that stick activity with me. We're gonna hold on to our sticks because we're gonna use it for one more thing. We're gonna move into our three full body movements today. So for this first skill, you'll only need one stick, so you can put the other to the side. And we're gonna work on your little one's abdominal muscles. So we're gonna do some sit-ups. So they're gonna lie on the floor facing you, feet towards you, head away, and you're gonna encourage them to hold on to this stick here. Now, again, if they need help, you guys can do the hand over hand and that'll help keep their hands on there, work on their gripping skills at the same time. And then you're gonna help them just gently sit up, holding on to the stick, and then go all the way back down. All right, so hopefully you're letting them do some of the work, or hopefully most of the work, and use those tummy muscles. If they're on the young side, you can always support their, the back of their neck and their head as they go back down. That way they don't hit their head on the floor. All right, try another one, go up. If they've got it, they can even pull all the way to standing. All right, so go down, sit all the way up, maybe even to standing, and then back down. 
If they're not ready to stand up yet, that is totally fine. You guys can stick with a regular just sit up and back down. Good work. This is a good opportunity too to give them a lot of smiles, a lot of love, really express through your face here. Good work. Let's try one more. Sit up and back down. Yay! Good job! Thanks for trying that one out. We're going to put our sticks to the side now because uh, we're all done with them for this class. Our next full body exercise is going to be our fireman's carry. So, for this one, you're going to get your little one up and over your shoulder. Their tummy will be towards the ground. And then you're going to encourage them to hopefully look up and maybe see if they can even kick their feet up a little bit off of you. That's really going to trigger their back muscles and their neck muscles. And for this one, to make it just a little bit fun, you guys can walk in a circle, give them a little bit of a view of the room that you guys are in. If you're feeling daring, you can even spin in a circle. Whoa. Get them a little bit dizzy. Maybe go the other way. And then, after they're a little dizzy, you can even take them down and test them, see if they can stand with your help or even sit with your help. That really helps to develop their vestibular system. All right, so give that one a try. I'll give you a second. All right, excellent work. Our last one, now this one is gonna stretch them out a little bit. Parents, what you're gonna do is you're gonna sit down on the floor Tuck your knees in a little bit so your knees are up to the sky. And you're going to lie your little one across your waist here. Okay? Now, um, if they're comfy here, you can start with it really small. That way it doesn't frighten them. But once they get used to it, you can do it a little bit bigger. This one is called an assisted back bridge. So your hands are going to go behind you. And parents, you're just going to push your hips up to the sky. And then let your little one's head and shoulders drape off this side and their toes drape off the other side. So they're kind of in an arched position. Now, if you want to start little, nice and low, that way your little ones feel secure and comfortable with it, that's great. If they've done this one before or it seems like they're really enjoying it, you can push your hips a little bit higher and that'll cause them to go into a bigger arch. All right, so take a break. Shake it out, parents. Little ones, are you ready to go? All right, let's try it again. Everyone go up. Let's try and hold for five seconds. Say five, four, three, two, one. Come on down. Give your little ones a big hug or a big round of applause. Good work. All right, so those are three um, activities that you guys can try at any time throughout the day. Maybe if they have a couple of wiggles and you want to get them out, um, you can do that very playfully with them. All right, so we are now going to move on to our ball section. I'm going to put Mr. Frog to the side. So for this, you guys can use any ball that you have at home. Um, of course, if it's a little bit on the softer side, the better. That way, if it hits something in the house or even hits your little one, um, it hopefully won't hurt them. But because this one is going to be a follow the leader type of activity, parents, you're going to take a turn saying my turn and demonstrate it. Then you'll hand the ball to your little one and say your turn and see if they can do it. All right, so for this first one, we're going to start simple and we're just going to push the ball. All right, so I'll say my turn and I'll push the ball away. Hopefully, if your little one's across from you, they'll push it on back. If they're not, you can always just go and grab it and then you give it to them. And now you're going to say, little ones, it's your turn. Here, roll the ball. Go. Did you get it? Oh, nice job. All right, now we're going to try and bounce the ball. So you're going to throw it, and it's just going to do a couple bounces, nice and easy. So my turn. All right, now, kids, you guys ready? Say your turn. Bounce it. Did you do it? How did it go? Oh, excellent. Okay, we're going to try one more. Now, this one, be very careful because you guys are inside. So, parents, if you'd rather skip this one and do it outside, that's totally fine. Or if you're willing to give it a try, you're going to stand up with me, and we're going to kick the ball. Okay? So, we're going to say, my turn, and go kick. All right, did you do it? Now, kids, it's your turn. 
Say your turn. And we're gonna kick the ball. Kick. Nice work, you guys. All right, so those ball activities, you guys can do um, anytime. You can do them inside, you can do them outside. That's really just gonna practice their hand-eye coordination. But give yourselves a round of applause for trying those out today. All right. Now, the last thing is we get to do bubble time. So parents, if you guys have bubbles at home, go ahead and grab them now. All right, let's start by just blowing some bubbles in the air. Parents, feel free to encourage your little one to try and pop the bubbles or even catch the bubbles. Are you guys catching them? Let me see. Hold out your hands. Very nice, friends. Now, if some have fallen on the floor at this point, parents, you guys are gonna show them an example of jumping on the bubbles. So we're gonna practice jumping. All right, hopefully they'll follow you. So parents, go ahead and go jump. <gasps> go jump. Little ones, are you guys trying it too? Let me see, go jump. Go jump. Did you get it? Try a couple more. Do another jump. Another jump! Did you land on the bubbles? Did you get them? Try again, go jump! Did you guys get them? One more time, go jump! Go jump! Jump! Did you squish them? Nice work! All right, friends. Now, if your little one really likes bubble time, of course, you can pause the video and you guys can do bubbles for a couple more minutes. If you guys are ready to move on with me, we're going to get ready to say goodbye. But I do want to remind you guys that you can practice those three full body activities at home. And parents, don't forget to keep leading by example in your everyday life. That way they can kind of pick up on some good habits and hopefully start that language development as well. All right, we're gonna lie down and get ready to play our drums. So go ahead, just a little bit of tummy time for the end. Go right on your tummies, we're gonna hit the ground like this. All right, you guys there? Here we go, I want you guys to sing along with me. Say, Thanks for joining me and we'll see you guys for the next class. Bye guys! <laughs>